Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and welcome to another tutorial. This week, how to make DIY sculpting paste. What you'll need to make this is a container, serviettes or toilet paper, water, a sieve, a hand blender, and then finally a coffee bean grinder if you have one. Firstly, open up the serviettes or the toilet paper and put them in the container. Once you've filled the container, then add water. Rinse and repeat until you have enough. Once you have enough, flood it with water, then work the paper with your hands until it looks something like this. Now put your container on a tea towel, this is to stop slipping, and then blend the paper water mixture. Please be very careful with a hand blender as it can be very, very dangerous. Once you've finished blending it, this is what it should look like. Take a handful of the mixture, pop it into a sieve, and then squeeze out as much of the water as possible. Then put that to one side, and then repeat this until you've done all the mixture. Next we can start to break down the large lumps into smaller pieces. You're aiming for popcorn shapes. Now that we've broken them down, we can pop them on an oven tray. I've already turned my oven on and I've got mine set to gas mark 6. That's 175 degrees centigrade or 345 degrees Fahrenheit. Also remember to wear oven gloves as we don't want to burn ourselves now, do we? You'll also need to check them every 10 to 15 minutes. This is to stop them drying out completely and burning. Once they've cooled, we can then proceed with the next part. As you can see, we've now moved into the garden as it was a little noisy. What I've done is I've loaded the coffee bean grinder and put in the popcorn shapes. And then as I grind, I shake it. This allows it to circulate through the grinder and to get ground up a lot better. There we have the paper, all ground down, all fluffy and ready for use. Now to make some sculpting paste. What I'm going to do is take this spare container and fill it about halfway with the paper. Here I've got some concrete mix. What happened was I got a bag of postcrete from my local DIY store for free because it had split. And what I did was sieved it down to get the fine bits and take all the pebbles and bits out but that's for a later show. So what we do is we add this to the paper. Once we've put the concrete dust in, we put the lid back on and give it a good shake. From here, we add water bit by bit. What we're looking for is the consistency of cottage cheese. Once we have a good consistency, we can then start to add it to our diorama. Here I'm building up the bank on my Lost Again sir, diorama. This is what it looks like when it's done. You can still mess around with it for up to about 20 minutes afterwards. What you do is you get a bit of water on your finger and then just rub it around where you need to. So there you have it. DIY sculpting paste. Remember if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.